In 1977, as disco ruled and Star Wars dazzled theaters, NASA launched Voyager 1, a car-sized spacecraft, on a bold mission. Its job? Fly by Jupiter and Saturn, then journey into the unknown. Built with primitive tech, Voyager 1 was made to last. Against all odds, it's traveled farther than any spacecraft in history. Today, that tiny ship still pushes the boundaries of our knowledge. Voyager 1's journey is a testament to our relentless curiosity. The Voyager mission was possible thanks to a rare planetary alignment, a cosmic slingshot that comes once every 176 years. Using gravity assists, Voyager 1 could visit Jupiter and Saturn in a single fuel-saving sweep. In 1979, it reached Jupiter, revealing the planet's raging storms and, shockingly, active volcanoes on its moon Io, the first seen beyond Earth. These discoveries prove the outer solar system was alive and dynamic. Next stop, Saturn. Voyager 1's images unveiled the planet's intricate rings and Titan's thick, mysterious atmosphere. Titan's dense, nitrogen-rich air sparked decades of fascination, hinting at a world frozen in time. Each new image rewrote the textbooks, and Voyager 1's grand tour was a triumph. After Saturn, it left the planetary plane, heading for the stars, while Voyager 2 continued to Uranus and Neptune. Voyager 1's new mission to find the true edge of the sun's domain, the heliopause. It was venturing into uncharted territory, where no probe had gone before. The journey beyond the planets was just beginning. Voyager 1 was about to redefine what we thought we knew about the solar system's boundary. Before Voyager 1, our ideas about the solar system's edge were just theories. We pictured the sun's solar wind forming a giant bubble, the heliosphere, pushing back the interstellar medium. The boundary, the heliopause, was imagined as a clear, sharp line solar wind on one side, interstellar space on the other. Scientists expected Voyager 1 to see a dramatic slowdown in solar wind, a spike in cosmic rays, and a sudden flip in the magnetic field's direction. The transition was supposed to be neat and orderly, a textbook exit from the sun's influence. The sun's magnetic field, carried by the solar wind, would give way to the galaxy's magnetic field at the boundary. This magnetic shift was expected to be Voyager's unmistakable sign of crossing into interstellar space. The models were elegant, logical, and widely accepted. But the universe rarely matches our tidy predictions. Voyager 1 was about to show us just how messy and fascinating the real boundary could be. Science thrives on surprises, and the edge of the solar system was about to deliver a big one. Our understanding was about to be rewritten. As Voyager 1 neared the edge, scientists watched for a clean break into interstellar space. In 2012, the spacecraft detected a sharp drop in solar particles and a spike in galactic cosmic rays, signs it had crossed the boundary. But the magnetic field didn't flip as expected. It stayed aligned with the sun. This baffled scientists. How could Voyager be in interstellar space but still feel the sun's magnetic pull? Months of debate followed. Was Voyager in a strange hybrid region, a magnetic twilight zone? The answer came by measuring plasma density. It was 40 times higher than inside the heliosphere, proof Voyager had entered the interstellar medium. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to cross into interstellar space. But the boundary wasn't a simple line. It was porous, tangled, and magnetically complex. The sun's influence stretched farther than anyone imagined. Voyager's crossing revealed a frontier far stranger than our models predicted. The universe had rewritten the rules at the edge of home. Voyager 1 had opened a new chapter in our understanding of the cosmos. In interstellar space, Voyager 1's discoveries kept coming. Outside the heliosphere, cosmic rays surged, proof our sun's magnetic bubble shields Earth. The interstellar medium wasn't uniform. Plasma density fluctuated, shaped by solar shockwaves. Instead of a clean break, 
Voyager found a tangled region where the sun's and galaxy's magnetic fields intertwined. By studying the heliopause, Voyager 1 gave us our first direct look at how stars interact with their surroundings. Today, Voyager 1 is over 16.7 billion miles from Earth. So far, that light takes more than 24 hours to reach us. Commands take two days for a round trip. It's the ultimate long-distance call. But Voyager carries more than instruments. It carries the Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated disc. Created by Carl Sagan's team, the record holds images, greetings in 55 languages, and music from Bach to Chuck Berry. Etch diagrams explain where and who we are, a cosmic message in a bottle. The odds of it being found are tiny, but that's not the point. Sending it was an act of hope, a gesture to connect with the unknown. The golden record is a mirror, forcing us to ask, what defines humanity? Voyager's journey is both scientific and poetic, a legacy that will outlast us all. Even if never found, the record speaks to our desire to be known and remembered. Voyager 1's mission is a story of discovery and a message of who we are cast into the stars. It's humanity's greeting to the universe, carried by our farthest explorer. In 1990, Voyager 1 turned its camera back and captured Earth as a pale blue dot, a single pixel in the vastness. That image, championed by Carl Sagan, reminds us how small and fragile our world is. Voyager's journey is about relentless curiosity, asking questions, embracing surprises, and learning from the unexpected. Its discoveries at the solar system's edge opened new fields of science and inspired a new generation of explorers. Missions like the Parker Solar Probe and IMAP are Voyager's legacy, pushing boundaries even further. We explore not just to find new worlds, but to understand our own. Voyager 1's story is a human story of courage, humility, and the drive to see what's beyond the horizon. That little spacecraft, still sailing on, represents the best of us. Its silent journey is a reminder. As long as we keep asking questions, there will always be new frontiers. Voyager's legacy is a call to keep looking up, to keep exploring. The universe is vast, and our journey has only just begun. Keep looking up.